So today we're going to do some really cute things. We're going to do, um, I'm going to chalk on some fabric and we're going to put it on a uh, framed piece and it's going to, it's going to look really cool. I think it's going to look really cool, but the fabric was a little wonky, I'm not going to lie. We're also going to make a little wooden tag bead swag tonight that we're going to chalk on. So um, be really cute to like hang on your tree or use uh, like on your mantle or on your table, like like with in your little tablescape. Uh, thank you, ma'am. You like the pumpkin patch? Oh, yay, the Saints one. That's good. It's good for you, Alice. So fun. Hi, Alice. Um, the, you're talking about the avatar? I did that in Snapchat. <gasps> Thank you, Erin. We're super stoked. We've known for a while, so I'm super excited that Sutton is going to have a sister. I'm so excited about that because I loved having two girls and I wouldn't want it any other way. And I'm so glad that she's going to have a sister. My, my girls are best friends. They're four years apart. I, my sister is 16 years older than me and we're super close. So, um, there's just nothing like having a sister that you're close to. It's just, there's just nothing like it. So I'm really excited for her. Yeah. And I'm excited to have another little girl because I can primp it and just make it all frilly. So this dried nicely. This was our plate that we used fabric on. Let me cut off this excess. I didn't turn the TV on so I can hear my Hallmark movie playing. I love it. Who's excited about the 40 some odd new Hallmark movies? I'm so excited about that. So if you're new and you don't know what you're watching, my name is Lisa Ozio. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture, but I, I do all sorts of DIYs. Chalk Couture is a high-end chalk um, chalk company that you has reusable stents, uh, reusable transfers, silk screen transfers. And you can use them over and over and over and they make beautiful designs crisp clear finished lines and you can make several of the same transfer which is fantastic if you're wanting to sell your products online or if you're wanting to make gifts or if you're wanting to um, you know do switch transfers and use different transfers this turned out so cute but I also do all sorts of crafts and I try to incorporate chalk tour and everything I do because their products are amazing and it finishes off so many products so, so many projects. So this one right here, what I did was I Mod Podged with this Mod Podge. It is a dishwasher safe Mod Podge, which it says it's non-toxic, so you can put food on it. And I Mod, mod Podge this fabric on the back of it. So it comes through my plate and I'm gonna put a really cute little design on that. But right now what I'm gonna do is, well that's weird. Oh, okay. To say where did my paper towels go right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to clean it up with some alcohol to get the ink i mean the, the uh fingerprints and oils and stuff off of it and i used this one because it was just a neutral fabric and i could i could chalk right in the center of this plate and it would look really cute we have a new person hi diane welcome hi robin good to see you again so glad you ladies joined us if it's your first time joining us and you've never commented before, let me know where you're from and that you're new and you'll get a free entry into our monthly drawing. Hey, Lori. So glad you guys are here. So, you know, I do these lives to show you how easy the products are to use and to kind of inspire you to start crafting again or change up your crafting or add something to your crafting. So, um, for your home decor and for we do t-shirts and everything so i just hope to inspire you with something fun N not every craft is going to be for everyone but I, I realize that but some are like diy on the cheap and some are just easy diy and i just think it's cute like that little pumpkin guy i don't know where he is oh he's way over there the little pumpkin i made out of strainers looks so stinking cute and i can't wait to put him out after the halloween stuff goes away so i'm super excited about that I'm working on a stackable pumpkin, um, like a, a pumpkin topiary for my yard and for Haley's yard. So I should have, I might have like a quick, t a quick tip video up on that tomorrow. So be looking for that. I'm going to start trying to do quick tip videos 
so you don't have to sit through like a whole thing but you'll be able to see like the project what I did and I'll just give you the idea and most of the time I do projects just to give you an idea and you can run with it any way you want so that's the beauty of it I do encourage you to join my Simply Obsessed Crafts and More group. The link is the link to that group is linked in on my page, Simply Obsessed uh, DIY Decor. I changed the name of it. And um, you can just get to that group that way. And that's where I do like bundles, giveaways, deals, deals. And we like our um, crafters in there to post their projects for inspiration. So if you're in that group, you don't have to post under that thread that I, you know, made the post about. You can post it right onto the, on the main page so people can see it and comment on it. That would be great and you might inspire somebody else to do a cool craft so that's what that group is for it's a crafters group it's it belongs to you guys and um i want you to utilize it any which way you want I, I often feel like i'm the only one posting in it and you guys are just commenting so i want you to post in there and um you know questions tips if you need inspiration whatever you need there's a lot of people in there and i'm sure somebody would love to help you could you do a snowman from the strainers like pumpkin? You sure could, Teresa, but it would take like six strainers to do it. And you could zip tie them together and everything. That would be fine. But it would take like six strainers to do it. <coughs> would be cute, though. It would be cute. Okay. So let's chop something really nifty on here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I got something in a 5 by 7 A size transfer first. And if I don't, then we'll do um, something cute. I love that Marion Bright. It's just one of my favorite transfers. And that's really what should go on this plate because, like, Christmas is always Marion Bright. I'll take that out just in case. And I probably have pieces in other. Huh. This is a cute transfer too. I haven't used this one on anything yet. I actually forgot that I have it. I don't think I've used it. Maybe I did. It's got sparkly on it. So um, there's that one postmark. That's super cute. That's a super cute one. I have Elfie, nice wish list, Christmas, naughty. <clears throat> Let's see. This book is so heavy, I'm going to have to put it, I'm going to have to split it into two books. Oh, look, I can't even pick it up. My lupus does not allow me to pick up this book anymore. I really feel I'm making my first. You did so good. That snow, let it, let it snow uh, yard sign was so cute. Robin, you're in Myrtle Beach? I think he told me that. Myrtle Beach, yeah, because he talks about how much I love Myrtle Beach. Oh, what if the elf, the elf made me do it. I could do just the words. I could do, it, it fits, but it's going to be on that crease again. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I could do the elf hat and then the elf shoes on here. That would be kind of cute. That would be something to think about. I could do ho, ho, ho. There's no place like home. Marion Bright. The Marion Bright would be really cute on here. I know I use it a lot, but I love it. It's one of my favorite Christmas, one of my favorite Christmas transfers. Let's see what we got. I might, might have them all out. Snow globe. Santa stop here. Santa please stop here. I wonder if that would fit. It's kind of cute. I'm trying to get it to where it's in the circle. No, it won't. I could just do Santa. That would be cute. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Okay. Maybe I'll just do Santa. Oops. This book is so heavy. I really have to work on that. Hold on. Really have to work on that. It's way too heavy. 
Okay, let's do Santa. Well, okay, let me ask you what you want. Do you want me to do just the word Santa? Y'all are gonna get to pick just the word Santa or Merry and Bright. Let me fix this. Okay. And bounce just for a second. So do you want just the word Santa or Merry and Bright? Hello, Christine. Yeah, I'm not doing the drawing right now, Renny. I'm going to do it after a while. <clears throat> yes, it's a plate, Marsha. It's a plate that I Mod Podge with um, this Mod Podge that is dishwasher safe. I Mod Podge fabric onto the back of it so it looks like that. Super cute. And I'm going to chalk on the plate. And then I'm going to um, Mod Podge over it when it's dry. Merry and bright, merry and bright, merry, merry and bright it is. Merry and bright it is. I don't even have to worry about centering up the design. Just got to get this on there. Got some chalk that dried in there. That might be a problem. We'll see. I'm gonna get all these bubbles out. Hopefully. The beauty of this is, if I miss a bubble and it gets messed up, I can do it over. Just clean it off the glass. So I'll Mod Podge over this and seal it with that um, dishwasher safe one that's non-toxic. There's something on that transfer. Okay. All right, that's down pretty good. I'm gonna do this in. <coughs> do this in red. Candy apple red. And try to think of what's gonna show up. Um, I don't have one that says cookies. Have that little tiny one from the gingerbread guy but I don't have um let me put a handle on this book hold on I mean I could spell out cookies but that would take forever and I don't know not forever but it would take it would take a minute no I don't want to do that you know I don't know So I could do, see he'll be too big too, you know? Actually, actually the gingerbread man fits in there. Should I do the gingerbread man? Making, baking spirits bright? That might be really cute. Let's try that. Let's try the gingerbread man. Let's try him. He's super cute. I also have some more candles and I got my new craft iron. Y'all look how tiny it is. It's a little tiny iron. It's like a dull iron. I got that to do candles. So we'll do some of those tonight too. This is so stinking heavy. I leave it like that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. It's even better, right? I know. Let's get him on here. Super sticky. Fire 
loves him. I know, the gingerbread man's so cute. He's so cute. Put a little fuzz on him. So he's not so hard to pull off. Just gonna make sure I get it on here with get it on this uh, plate without wrinkles. Okay, I think I got it now. His feet are up on the curb. When I just measured this earlier, it fit fine. Why is that happening? Okay, that might work better. I'm trying to get it to where there's no bubbles near the edge of the uh, transfer. So I'm super excited, so I'll be doing lots of onesies for little girls and bibs and everything, because now it is out. I haven't been able to do them on the show because I didn't want anybody to think I was uh, giving it away. There's a little crease right here by his the bottom of his feet. It's like right up on the curve. But I don't want to take the chance of messing up his head. So uh, we'll do this. So we're going to do him in, it's red and green in the background. I think we're going to do him in, I wonder if I mix the papaya and the fawn. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I do that. <clears throat> Make him a little bit gingerbread color, but not so dark. Not so orangey. No, gingerbread does have, has a little bit of brown in it, right? We'll just lighten him up and see what happens. And I'm so excited, Teresa. I was so excited when we did our little reveal thing. Oh my gosh. I was like over the moon. I mean, Ryan and Haley did not care. I mean, they were so thankful to um, be able to have a second child. It didn't, it, I was in the same position when I had Haley. I was, I had uh, infertility for a couple of years and then I had um, endometriosis. So the chances of getting pregnant were not very good. And by the grace of God, I got pregnant and they were four years apart. And I couldn't have cared less. When David and I went for that ultrasound, which was supposed to be two months before she was born, but it, was, it ended up being a month because she came early. Um, I was, David's smile was ear to ear. He could not, he could have not cared. He loved being a girl dad. And Ryan's the same way. I mean... If they don't ever have a boy, it's not a big deal to them. Sutton plays sports. She does everything. So, and that's how we were. My girls played sports. They did theater. They did pageants. They sang. I mean, it didn't matter to us. So, we, we were just thankful that uh, we could have another. And that's how Haley and Ryan were. They don't care. I would never be disappointed with... Um, the blessing of a child. So that's just how we feel about it. Okay, I'm just going to mix some um I'm going to mix some colors to make this a little bit lighter. You can mix the paints, you can mix the inks. You can mix the glitter paints. My 
to add a little bit of brown to it too. I didn't know. I really didn't know until they did the uh, the reveal thing. I wasn't real sure what she was having. They kept a good secret. A little more brown. And I think that should be good. Get that mixed up. So I mix colors a lot when I don't have the color I want. I mean, I have a lot of colors. But when I don't have the color I want, I am not opposed to mixing colors. around. Ah, see a bubble. See a lot of bubbles. Well, we'll see how this comes out. I should have taken... I should have taken the big squeegee over it. So this might be a total fail. It looks like he has a, uh, I'm gonna show you what bubbles look like though. I'm gonna show you. That's what bubbles look like. Looks like he has growths on him. But you know, we might just go with it. I mix that color so perfect. You know what? I'm going to take it off. Because I mix that color so perfect though, but I could do it again. So this is how we're going to remove it. And this is what's the beauty about these products too. You can just wipe it right off. Look at that. Wipes right off. Okay, I'm going to put that up there because I have to wash him off. Oh, that color was so good. I have to wash him off and let him dry. So we'll move on to uh, the farmhouse one. And then I'll maybe come back to this. I might have to do this with more time because it's on the, uh, the plate. It was hard to get it. Hard to get it really smooth. But I didn't know. Uh, I did not get all those bubbles out. I just put it down, pressed it down with my fingers, and I should have. Uh, I have never seen you mix colors. Oh, I do it all the time, Alice. I mix colors all the time. I love it. You can make any color you want. All you gotta do is pull up a color wheel on the internet, and it'll tell you your secondary colors and your base colors, and what colors mix together and make other colors. It's really neat. So you can do that with, uh, make about just about any color if you have the simple colors. Yeah, I know, I was there when she, when she did it, Teresa. Haley posted a picture of something with a shirt on, says big sister holding a pumpkin thing. Look, are you answering someone or? I understand. Yeah, we came up with that idea. So that's a funny story. Um, we painted the pumpkin. And then I was going to, I was just going to cut vinyl letters out to put on it. And the vinyl peeled the paint off. So Haley says, well, just do something on the other side. So I was like, well, I could probably chalk it. Not even thinking, I should have sprayed it with a spray sealer. This is a good uh, tip for y'all. I should have sprayed it with a spray sealer 
to prevent that paint from lifting. So you just use acrylic paint. And um, that would have stopped it, but I didn't. And, uh, okay, we did this one the other night. It says Santa stop here, stops here. And I wanted to show you. You can just, like, I had a little mistake because it got a bubble because it's on this glass. It's kind of kind of tricky on the glass. But um, I just scratched it off with my fingernail. And it's fine. I'm going to Mod Podge over this with this uh, dishwasher safe and see how it does. kind of curious to see how it does. So anyhow, we um, I went to put the transfer on. And I didn't even rub it down. I just put it on, peeled it off, and I could see it was taking a little paint off, and I didn't want to ruin my transfer. So I told her, I said, that's not going to work because I don't want to ruin my transfers. So she was like, I said, just do it in an app. So she just did it in an app. That's what we ended up doing. So I'm just going to put a little bit of, I don't even know how this is going to work. We're going to see. Let me see if I need to mix this up. Oh, to Lori. Didn't show you were answering someone. I was like, why did she tell me that? I know that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Lori, I thought you saw it. I posted it on my page, on the business page, too. It's on there. So let's see how this does. I think this will do really well. This will dry clear. And then it'll protect that chalk if I want to, um, it'll protect the chalk if I want to, you know, wash this plate. And I could put this in the top rack of the dishwasher. Oh, look, I just took the paint off because I scraped it with the thing. Well, that's not good. Well, that was an epic fail. I scraped it with the stick instead of just using the sponge. I should have used a regular brush to cover it. Hold on. Just going to wipe that off before that Mod Podge dries. And I'll redo that A. You can always fix anything as long as you take care of it right away. No, I don't have any Mod Podge right there, so I'll let that dry, and then I will fix that. That's just a disaster. Okay, Kimberly, so I made the plates. I got a clear plate at Dollar Tree, and I put fabric. I cut a circle out, put fabric, and then I Mod Podged it with the um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge, and then um, I'll be able to uh, chalk on it and then cover it again, but I'm not going to rub it with a stick. Because that was dumb. That was dumb. All right, let's do this. Let's do... I actually want to use... Hold on. I think I actually want to use one of these on here. I'm going to make this little cute. Use our um, Christmas minis. Uh, yeah, she saw it. I thought she saw it. I thought you commented on it. That's funny. I mean, we posted it everywhere, I think. Okay. So I have the tag transfer. It has all the tags on it. And I was just wondering what I wanted to post on this. They're so cute. I love the Christmas tree. I love the Christmas tree. Super cute. The Christmas tree and I'm just going to do the word believe at the top of it. Okay. 
You can do anything you want on these um, transfers. That's the beauty of it. So I'll do Believe in Candy Apple Red. I can find my new one. Oh, here it is. I took it out of it. I'll do Believe in Candy Apple Red. And then I will do the Christmas tree in green and maybe the little star in silver. Oh, that one's good. Okay. That one's really good. I'm just going to use this little squeegee. I'm just going to do the word believe. Take off that excess and put it back in my jar. And I'm going to take that off. So stinking cute. Then I'm going to do the tree in meadow. The tree in meadow and the little star in silver. Some of that red. Hi, Deborah. How are you? So glad you're here. Y'all are so sweet. So glad you are here. Yeah, I made the plate. They're just the little clear plates. They're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And um, I just laid it down. I actually, I actually did it on one of the lives. You can go click on the videos tab. I don't know if it's in the, um, I really need to start putting in the, in the post what I am doing that night. So I think, I don't know if it's in there, but I can go find it and change the title so you can find the videos easily. I'll do that. And um, this way you'll be able to see how I did it. Because I, I did it all, I cut the fabric on the live and everything. So you'll be able to see it. Generally I do do it on the live. So everybody can see how it's done. So right now I'm just swiping this chalk onto this silk screen. I'm just covering all the silk screen part. That's white. Please do not tell me I have another bubble. And I'm just going to take this off, try to get all the lines out of it. The chalk dries itself within like two to three minutes, but I sometimes blow dry it on cool to get it to dry a little bit faster, especially when I'm layering a piece or Doing something that I want to see. I did have a bubble. I'm just like the bubble queen tonight. It's really not this difficult, I promise. I promise it's not this difficult. I do this hundreds of times. And it's just not this difficult. Oh, I should have done. You know what? I'm going to take that off. I'm going to do that little... Um, I'm going to do that little tree stump in brown. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix it. Tomorrow, I am completely about containers and everything today. And tomorrow, I am completely... Um, these little pointed cosmetic Q-tips are amazing to fix little boo-boos. Um, tomorrow, I'm completely organizing this craft room. Because it's out of control. I'm just taking a little disinfectant white. While the chalk is wet. And I'm going to just erase it. I just erased it. And then I'll clean that transfer off. And I'll put the um, put it back on. I'll do that little stem in brown. Do that little stem and brown. It'll be so cute. Let's 
try this. Oh, get one off of there. Let's try this. <clears throat> Put that on the floor. Just put that on the floor. That should be dry. trunk right there. Get my brown. We'll fix this right up. All right, all fixed. Super cute. Fix the tray, put a little brown stem on it, looks perfect. I'm gonna set that to the side and I'm gonna try to string these beads. Actually, I'm gonna need that to do that. I'm gonna string these beads. I didn't paint these beads, but I'm not opposed to it and I could always do that later. There, put this off here, move these out of the way. Those out of the way. Alright, so I'm gonna string these beads and I'm gonna use some twine. I'm gonna make, measure this twine to be about what did I say? Yeah, about 18 inches. About 18 inches. This is just gonna be like a little swag for decorating with. That's all it's going to be. Put this through like this. So then I'll still have about, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to tie a knot in this so it hangs straight. through and I mean you might have a better way that you want to hang it and that's fine everybody's entitled to do it their own way so the only problem I find is that this twine comes unraveled so y'all I went and looked at um, battery operated glue guns today Yeah, I totally have to get this place. Um, I totally have to get this place fixed up because I can't find anything. I have so much stuff and I can't find anything. I should just tape this, but I don't need tape in here. Let me go get tape. Hold on.
Stay on some tape. Take this off. So I do this a lot when I can't get thread or twine to stay together. The key is to roll it really tight so you can pass it through the little hole on the, the little wooden bead. Just a tip. And it should hold up for the whole thing. It's like a shoelace, it makes it like a shoelace. And then they go on super fast. So you can get like these beads really cheap. I got like a whole bag of them. I'm putting 10 beads on this little swag. Super cute. I'm gonna cut that excess string off down there too. I might even do like a little bow or a ribbon or something on it just to embellish it more. I'm gonna make another second Three, six, nine, ten. So now I'm going to do again what I did. I'm going to try to, my big fingers, I'm going to try to turn this through to make a loop. Hold on. I should have cut my string longer. So next time I'll cut my string like 22 inches long. So I have extra room right here to make a loop. And my string's too short. You know, I get these things in my head and then I don't think it through. Well, I mean, I do them live so you see it, but let me take this tape off. <clears throat> Stay with me. Push it through. Yes. I wanted to make like a little loop on it. So if you, with a knot, and I did. So if you wanted to hang that like on a tree or something, you could. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut this one shorter so you don't see it. So there you have. Isn't that the cutest little swag to use? And you can hang it on a tree. You could make it longer. You could use it as a garland. You could use it as like laying on your table just as a decoration. Super stinking cute. How easy was that to make? The transfers and the little wooden uh, tags that we sell are perfect. It's got a loop to hang it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me know if you love that. Give me hearts if you love that. Super cute. Super cute. Love that little swag. Let's hang it up over here. Let's hang it up over here. How cute. Isn't that cute? I love that. How easy was that? Those are great, for great gifts too. You can even use them to like put on gifts as a tab. So stinking cute. Just get you a bag of beads and some twine and those wooden ornaments and those like this one would be super cute to hang on the tree. Oh, I'm totally going to make one. For my tree because that looks like the Santa stuff so I'm gonna use that to make one for my excuse me for my tree I'm super cute okay I know it's so cute so I bought this fabric and I want y'all to look this fabric is crooked it's like they cut it on the bias or something and it's it's kind of crooked I've had to like pull it on the bias to um that's what you call it I think it's on the bias I had to pull it to try to get it to straighten out because I want to put I want to chalk on here. I'm going to chalk on it. I'm not going to um, ink it. I'm going to chalk on it because it's just going to be a wall hanging. And then I'm going to put it into a frame and maybe we'll put some cording or something on. It'll be super cute. So that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do, folks. And then we're going to do this and then we're going to do some candles. Did I buy... 
I did. I'm going to have to find them. See, this is my problem because I have so much stuff. All right, so this is that Farmhouse Christmas. And I thought this would be perfect. That would be super duper perfect. And that. And that. That would be really perfect for this um, buffalo plaid. So cute. And I'm going to do this in white. Should I do it in ink? I do it in ink and I have to wait for it to set before I put it in the frame. But I could lay it in the frame and show you what it's going to look like. I could do that. Let's do it in ink. I mean, you could chop on it. <clears throat> Let's do the chop so I can put it together. But, I know I have <coughs> a brand new one. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm almost over this cough. I know you will all be happy when I'm over it. Because you're tired of me hacking up a lung. <coughs> Just pop a cough drop in while we're here. Um, I don't know, Lori. I don't know what I have. I have room for that on my tree. But I could. I'd, I'd lean more towards doing um, something with beads to put on the tree. And maybe paint them red, white, and black <coughs> to go with my Santa theme. That might be like an option. I'm doing this whole thing in white because it's on this buffalo print and I'm just going to chalk it. Let's see what happens. Ah! Well, it's not the... It's not this. It's not sticking to... It's, okay, that seems to be fine. I'm gonna come back to care close. This is not very sticky. I don't even think I have any basting for it left. That is not very sticky. So I'm just gonna have to be really careful. But I have more fabric if I have to. I just don't want it to move the transfer on the fabric. That's what I don't want. And the mat is really just, to, it's supposed to hold it in place, but it has no stick left to it. I've used it so much. And I, I, you know, I've, I've made a mistake too of leaving it in projects like for a couple of days where I should have probably taken it out. And, um, okay. You know, I should have taken the, the mat out, but I didn't. So that's my fault. I probably ruined it. So just know, when you do your projects, take it off your mat. Put like a parchment paper or something between it. And uh, put your mat back with the cover on it. It'll keep it longer. All right, let's see. Oh, that came out great. All right. Came out really, really good. Could have clamped it down. Let's dry it off. So if you don't intend on washing something, you can chalk on the fabric. It's not not big a deal. Comes out perfect. I feel like the chalk will, you know, show up a little bit better than the ink. Could you? So that's how it came out. Super cute, right? So. I'm going to put this in here. Get rid of that. 
put this in here. I don't know if I'm going to glue it in. Ideally, what would be perfect for this would be glue dots. Glue dots would be perfect because you could take those off. Because I really don't want to glue it into this frame because I can reuse this frame. So that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to go get glue dots tomorrow. I almost bought them the other day and I was like, nah, I'm not going to need those. But I don't want to hot glue it into here. So I'll, I'll get the glue dots and then I might go back and add like some jute to it, but I wanted to show you that you could chalk on fabric. I might add some like um, twine or jute to the top of it with the glue dots. Perfect. So that's what it's going to look like. Isn't that great? So pretty. It'll be more finished off. Yeah. So I'm going to get glue dots. I almost bought them the other day. The other day. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't. It's kind of finish that off right now. The white pops on the plaid. That's why I went with the white. Looks really good on that plaid, doesn't it? Can you imagine doing some Christmas stockings? Christmas stockings in that buffalo plaid with the white? Oh, awesome. Hey, let's clean up these transfers real quick before I quick quip before I do those um, candles. I'll have to get up one more time to find. I totally forgot I didn't pull that out. I'll have to get, um, it, you know, today was a crazy day. We went, we spent the whole day out. We, um, we went to Lowe's, had to get some wood. We went to, um, took something for ice cream. We went for breakfast. So it was kind of a crazy day. I didn't get to finish. I was going to do that video for y'all today with the pumpkins. Because I want to do it during the day. And um, I didn't get to do that to show you a quick tip on that. But, um, so it was like a crazy day. And then we got, we got dinner. Well, it was kind of an off day for me because a friend of mine went to, took her grandson and his friend to the Astros game last night. So I was texting her, you know, during the game and stuff. And I assumed, she might be watching. I just assumed that she would be spending the night there because that game was going to get over so late. That she said she was driving home. And I was like, oh no, you're not driving home. So she had to stop in Beaumont, drop the, one of the boys off. And then she was heading back to Pineland, which is, you know, about two hours from Beaumont. So I said, call me if you uh, need me to. And she did. I had dozed off, but I had my phone right near me. Cause, and we talked for a little while. So then I couldn't kind of like fall asleep. And uh, I fell asleep and I dozed on and off. And then I got up and made coffee at like 5.45. Then I dozed off again. So that was crazy. So I was kind of off kilter a little bit. No, you're not pestering me at all. I love it. I am happy to help you. And as long as I can answer that message right then, I will do it. Sometimes I'm like driving or something and I might see the message and think, okay, I'll answer that when I stop and then I might forget and then I'll think about it later. But um, as long as I'm able to, I will answer you as fast as I can because I know when you're crafting and you, you're unsure and you want to do something, you don't want to wait, you know, till tomorrow or 30 minutes to find the answer because you're like in the middle of a craft or you're ready to start a craft. So I totally get it. I have no problem. And so I'm glad. Glad to help you. All right, guys. Let me find the, those napkins real quick. Hold on. Got to be from one of my trips yesterday. Oh, I got another candle. Two candles. Okay. Rennie, are you still on? Rennie, what was the red truck you were looking for? What was the red truck from Dollar Tree that you were looking for? I go in there all the time. 
You mentioned it on a show one night. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. I am happy to help. Okay, this has like a very heavy duty plastic on it. I'm trying not to like damage the candle. It won't slide out. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, it's like a really hard plastic. I thought this would just like peel off. Winnie, you still there? That scarecrow I have on my counter, I got him at a grocery store last year. But I did see them this year. Kim, let me measure him if I can figure out doesn't cost an arm and a leg to mail him I could maybe go by there and get you one and ship it if you I just gotta figure out how tall he is see what kind of box I put him in he's not a very like well-built scarecrow it was just a cheap little scarecrow it was like seven dollars I think but I don't mind doing that I just don't know how much he would be. I'll have to measure him and figure out the cost on it. So I could tell you before you want to. It was the big wooden one when the tree, with the tree in the back, it's wood. Brittany, would this be it? <laughs> Is this it, Brittany? I'm just waiting for Rennie's response. It takes so long. <laughs> but I feel like this is the one she wanted. It was not painted. Rennie, this is all I found. I did not find the wooden one though. I will still look. I will look for you. I'll do something with him. I will look for you. Okay, finally got this um, plastic off. Good Lord. Okay. It was not painted. No. Did you know that white candles are hard to find? These smell like peppermint. Ooh, this one's good. Okay, this is borderline ridiculous with this plastic stuff. I don't know a better way to cut this off. Oh, wait. Here's a, uh, here's where they sealed it together. Good luck. I'm getting in there. I don't want to mark up the whole candle. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. I'm trying so hard, y'all. I'm trying so hard to get this off. If I had any idea... This was gonna be so hard, I would have done this. Okay. The little skinny scissor works the best. All right. So I got these two big ones. And I got these napkins that say, give thanks. And they're a little off-white, so I'm gonna try them to see what they look like. I got the little pumpkin, super cute, right? Super stinking cute. Um, Walmart. I didn't. Did I look? At, I was at Walmart today, and I didn't think to look there. All right, Renny. Thank you because these were like seven ninety nine a piece, but I got them on sale. So.
so I would like to find them cheaper. Now I'm just trying to separate the two uh, layers to this napkin. I don't know if there is two layers. That would be a better way. Let me see if I wet it. Wetting it does not help. Let's see. Let's cut this. Maybe if we cut it, we can get into it better. I can see it. I can see that I'm going to have to spend a day separating all of these so I can just hit it and go on the live. totally see it. Got it. That's the key. You just scratch it and it separates. Okay. All right. So we're going to take this white backer off the two ply. We take the second ply off. So we have just this piece. Let's see. That's kind of long, so we'll cut the bottom. No, it's kind of cute. It's too tall. Okay. We'll just cut this off. Cut this off up here. We're just going to put this pumpkin on here that says thankful. That's what we're going to do. Can you see what I'm doing? Well, this candle smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You see what I'm doing? Okay, wrong one. This is gonna be so cute, right? I'm gonna take my little craft iron that's been on this whole time and let's see if this works. And it does. It's so easy to handle. This is, oh, and it smells like peppermint. So amazing. This little craft iron though, how cute is this? Don't y'all love it? That won't ruin my real iron. Y'all, this is like the niftiest craft I've ever done. I'm in love. And I saw these little thankful napkins and I was like, I gotta do that. Okay, well that was awesome. Just wipe that off, it's like Teflon. So that's neat. And that's what our thankful candle looks like. How stinking cute is that? I'm so excited. I can totally chalk on the back of this. I'll let it dry for a little bit. Totally chalk on the back of this. Okay, so on this one, I don't know if I want to do both thankfuls. Well, you know what I could do? Hold the phone. Oh no, that's a, I can't do that. Never mind. Well, yeah, I can. I can chalk. I can totally chalk on it. Let's do this. Little pumpkins, because we're getting ready for the holidays. Where's my sand
This would be cute to put on here. Chop that on there. Or I could do, should I do another thankful one? They're super cute. I mean, I just love it. It's hard to find um, napkins. It's hard to find napkins. Forgot to look at Walmart though again today. I was there. Could have done that. I just think that's so stinking cute. Now my Santa one is in there. I do have the penguin. Should I do another thankful one? And then I can uh, chalk something cute on the back of them. Maybe I'll do these as a giveaway. These would be super cute. Send to somebody. Do y'all want me to do the penguin Christmas or do you want me to do another thankful? Let me know. No, it doesn't come off while the candle's burning. I mean, it'll, it'll come off when it burns down, you know, it'll burn it down, but you can also, okay, ready, be ready. Be ready to have your mind blown. You can also do this same technique on the um, battery operated candles. Yes, you can. I used to have a ton of those for my daughter's wedding and I left them in my attic and they kind of melted some of them so I just threw the whole box away. But you can totally do this. You wanna do the penguin? I can do the penguin. You can totally do this on um, I also have a poinsettia. I also have that poinsettia rose, but the penguin would be cute. Um, you can also do this on those candles, on the battery operated candles. So you don't ever have to worry about it burning down. And um, that's always an option. You can get those on sale at um, Hobby Lobby all the time. And I did not seal it. No, Sue, I did not seal it. Okay, we got that there. Oh Lord, we have a white side that we're gonna use because that'll go better on the candle. But I mean, I think the red would be fine too. It would just be like a red square around it or the white pumpkin, I mean the white, um, I wonder what the red square would do. Kind of cute. It would be really kind of cute. Yeah, just scratch the paper and it comes off. Should we try the red and see what it does? Are y'all up for it? Let me know. I don't know what the red would do. Should we try the red? Well, I know I did that with the Santa, but I was just curious to see, because it's got the little snowflakes and stuff, and I wonder if that would show up. I mean, I feel like I want to try it, because then it would be like that. Or it would just be like white, with just the, with just the penguin. What do y'all think? Try it with the red? Why not, right? Why not? Let's just try it. Let's see. Put this down here. All right, we're gonna go for it. We're going for it.
so cute. I'm just concentrating. I'm just enjoying the craft. I'm sorry. Are you still here? <laughs> I'm just enjoying it. It's so stinking cute. So I would suggest making sure your your lines are real straight. Which I didn't do over here, but you know, it's still so cute. Make sure you get the whole napkin. Because what happens is it just like melts the wax through the napkin, I guess. So that kind of seals the paper on. So you just want to make sure that you have the whole napkin covered. Put my little iron down. That little iron is bomb.com. And there we go. How stinking cute is that? You can see the snowflakes and everything. And it smells like peppermint, so it's very soothing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to save the white one. I have these little ones, too, I bought. What can I put on these little ones? Totally chalk on these. Let's see. No, I'm trying to get the thing off my finger and I couldn't. Okay. Well, that came off way easier. That's a little tiny candle. Little tiny bitty candle. Let's see. I put on those. Have these trees would these fit on there? Well, the trees would fit. Could probably wrap the tree all the way around. Be super cute. Bottom off. Tree would be cute. Gotta get more napkins, y'all. I swear I thought I had like turkey napkins and everything, and I don't have them. Um, Renny, I got the iron on Amazon. Just a little craft iron. I think I paid like seven dollars for it. Or eight dollars, something like that. Just a little tiny. I just wanted something tiny that I could work over the candles. So I got on there. And I was like, surely they got to have one. Yo, this is going to be really stinking cute. It's going to be like little Christmas trees. Oh, my Lanta. That is so cute. Okay, hold on. Let me get my little craft iron. It's so tiny. It's like a, like a toy. It's like I'm using a toy. I wish it was cordless. I should have looked for a cordless one. But, because my cord is on this side now, kind of drives me crazy. But it does work perfect on the crafts. Okay, so I got it all on there. Now I'm going to go back. And I'm going to make sure I go over the whole thing. Smooth it out. So cute, right? Work it around, make sure it's all covered, and that's really cute. That is really, really cute. Look at that. I feel like I want to cut another one. Hold on, and I want to wrap it all the way around, right? Right? That's what I want to do. So cute upside down. Oh my God. I totally did it upside down. Why didn't you tell me, Tiffany? I wonder if I can get it off. Hold on. should always pay attention to which way your napkin goes. 
Oh well. No, you have to catch me. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna probably make this work. <clears throat> I'm probably make this. Work. Uh, you know what? It'll just be for show. I'll just go around the other side. Darn it. Those were cheap. I got them at the dollar store. They were not a big deal. That's funny though. Thanks for telling me. Nobody else caught that? Y'all, I'm supposed to have my back. What happened? How come nobody else caught that? <laughs> it's a wonderful world of being a crafter. But I mean, aren't, aren't upside down trees a thing? <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. Lord, it's been one of those days. It's been one of those days. We did meet the nicest man in um, Home Depot today. He was from New York, where I'm originally from. He was super cute. 78 years old, and you'd, you'd never know it. He was like a spry little guy. Green, blue, green, stupid. Let's cut this one. Put this one here. And they're all gonna be upside down. And you know, oh my God, that's so funny. I found out today that my ex-husband is marrying my ex-best friend, was my son's godmom. Oh Lord, Tiffany, that is terrible. But you know what? Obviously she wasn't a real good friend. <laughs> so maybe they're perfect for each other. I'm sorry. That's so hard. So hard. But I will keep you in my prayers because there's got to be something good coming along for you and your son. That's hard. All right, so... Tiffany, thank you for calling me, you know, out and telling me I did that backwards, but, you know, it turned out pretty cute. I mean, I would still display it. That's super cute. All right. We got this one more, but I want to get more napkins and more candles to do more. So, here's our thanks, thankful one. I'll probably chalk something on the back of it. I just don't know what I want to chalk on the back of it. Because I have, like... Grateful and Harvest. Grateful would be cute on there. Grateful would be really cute on there. Let's see if I can pull it out. Let's see. Let's do it. I don't think I need that anymore. Oh, and there goes my little tiny iron, which I'm done with, so I can unplug that. Just the cutest, though, right? I love that little iron. Super duper cute. Put that up. Get all the hot appliances away from me. Oh man, this little deer chalked on a candle would be super cute too. He would totally fit. Oh yeah, that's going to happen. That's totally going to happen. So I have gather, hello, welcome. Gather would be cute on there. Friends, family, memories. Have harvest, grateful, cozy. If grateful would fit. Oh yeah. Grateful would fit. Thankful, grateful, harvest, cozy, gather. Gather would cute. What do y'all want me to put on it? What do y'all want me to put? What do you want me to chalk on this? I love to show you how to do these things. I won't forget about the drum. 
What did you do at the end? I know. It's crazy. Men are crazy. So do you want me to put gather, grateful, or harvest? Or cozy. You can put cozy on there too. Tell me which one you want me to put. You pick. Majority wins. Majority wins. I will wait for your answers. Grateful. Harvest. Still waiting. I'm just going to wait because it takes a minute because it's crazy. Y'all are 25 people liking the page, following the page. Following, not liking. We're 25 people following the page from 1,000. Like in just a few months, we've added a thousand people to this page. That's crazy. Thank y'all so much. So yeah, uh, Tracy asked me earlier in Snapchat you can create a Bitmoji, and then I have a Bitmoji keyboard on my phone, so I'm able to do it that way. I'm looking for the post I did. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. So let's see. All comments. So you have to be on this live right now. Emily Cutler. Marsha Drysdale, Laura Mayfield, Lori Hicks, Rennie Kathy, Teresa Ozio, Sandy Newfeld, Katie Chapman, Hillary Howerton, Helen Hamby, Darla Clark, Angie Pitts, Alice Barnett, Kimberly, Kimberly Vogel, Vogel, and um, I know Teresa's here. And then who else is here? Okay, so let's see. We got Grateful Harvest, Grateful, 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 Grateful. That's it. It's going to be grateful. Lori Hicks is here. So if you commented on that post who your favorite team was, you got one ticket into the drawing. And then if you, um, then I'm going to draw out of all the names who are here right now. And Rennie's here. And um, that person's going to get an extra five tickets into this month's drawing. Kimberly is here. So let me know if you are here and you had commented before now on that post. Betty Hiltz was the last one, but she said she's not going to be able to go live. Grateful, grateful, grateful. Yeah, it's going to be grateful. Okay, so I'll have four ladies. Four ladies so far that are here. Grateful, grateful, grateful. Okay, we'll do grateful. How about we do grateful? <laughs> grateful sounds like fun. Oh, how cute would it be if I did it this way? Let me line it up straight. I was going to do it across, but I think it would be really cute. It'd be cute if I went up and down. So wouldn't it be cute if I did it like that? That'd be super cute. Thanks, Sue. Okay. I think it'd be cute like that. I think I centered it up behind the other design. So I think I'm going to do it like that. That's super cute. Let's get all the bubbles out. Good Lord, we're having bubble issues tonight. And I never have issues. So weird. Okay. Take a squeegee over that. Now I can hear Golden Girls because Hallmark went off. 
so I can hear Golden Girls on there. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that show was funny. I'm gonna do it in papaya, my favorite color, papaya, pow. <laughs> oh, so funny, papaya. Okay, love this color. This is one of my favorite things to do is to chalk on candles. And now do that little, you know, cool melting technique of the napkin. I mean, that's exciting. So many ideas for that. So many ideas. Alright, get all that excess off. Super cute. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's super cute. Grateful. On the back of thankful. So cute. Let me blow dry that a little bit. I'm cool so I don't melt my candle. Oh, oh. Little tiny iron. Little tiny iron keeps falling. I wish it had, I wish it was cordless. It's my life. Okay. What a cute gift. Yeah, Alice, I just made it the other night on the live and I have to iron it and send it out. They usually go out between the 15th and the end of the month. So if you win it for the last month, it goes out between the 15th and the end of the month. I didn't forget you, lady. Talked about it on live. There you go. Grateful. Super cute, right? Super cute. And guys, when you win free stuff and I send it to you, whatever it is, if it's, you know, product or if it's a piece that I've made or whatever, I would really appreciate if you post it in the group to show people because I send out stuff every month and I never get pictures from anybody and people don't think I send out stuff, but I do. All right, so there's our grateful candle. I love that. That was such a good choice. That was so cute. We have our upside down candle that Tiffany was... Nice enough to point out that I'm such a goober. <laughs> so it's backwards, but it's okay. It's It'll look cute. And uh, I think that's it for tonight. Let's do the drawing. Is anybody else here? I only have, out of that list, let me do one more roll call. Make sure everybody's here. Alice is here. Hold on. Got a ticket for Alice. Marsha's here. Okay. Ladies, I almost didn't get you in the drawing because I didn't see a thing. I must have missed it. Okay. Hold on. Let me get Marsha in. She commented. What about um, Kimberly's here. I got Kimberly. I'll go through all the tickets to make sure I got everything. Darla Clark, Angie Pitts. Um, Helen Hamby, Hillary Howerton. Katie Rendon, Sandy Newfeld, Laura Mayfield, and Emily Cutler. Any of you here? Jessica, you did not uh, comment on the post. It was a, a post I put up today. You didn't comment on it. It's on the business page. Guys, I post like extra ticket, bonus tickets all the time. You have to check the page or make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss it. So I put contests up all the time. Good night, Tiffany. I'll keep you in my prayers, hon. Yes, Teresa, it's a little misfit toy. That's cute. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm going to do the drawing because I don't see anybody else here. So I have Rennie. <coughs> Excuse me, Rennie Kathy, Kimberly Vogel, Alice Barnett, Lori Hicks, Teresa o Ozio, and Marsha Drysdale. Did I miss anybody? Anybody that commented on that post? Nope. All right, ladies. You are going into drawing. I'm going to put you in. What am I going to put you in? Let's see. i got to find something little I could put you in. Like a cup. Like a cup. 
Oh, I got something. Hold on. I'm going to put you in a coffee mug. Okay, so we got Marsha, Teresa, Lori, Alice, Kimberly, and Ren. I know, I had a crazy day too. And I, most of the time I do them on the weekends too, so people have time to check. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready? The winner is Kimberly Vogel. You get five extra tickets, and you ladies all get into the drawing. So all these go in. All these go in here, and then Kimberly gets five more. Let me do that while I'm thinking about it. And then I can close that. That contest will be done. Congratulations! I love doing contests. They're so fun. Um, I also put a deal up in the group and I just let everybody who commented under it take advantage of the deal. So if you want to go to Simply Says Crafts and More, okay, Kimberly, all five are in, six now. Uh, you can go and look at the deal and take advantage of it if you want to. It's still open. Okay, that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm addicted to this candle thing. I don't know. It could become a problem. I'm kind of addicted to it. It's so stinking cute. So stinking cute. All right, Kimberly's tickets are in, so that one is closed. And, uh, I don't have to worry about that. Is that the only transfer I just used? I washed the other ones? Oh. I thought I had more in there. Uh, yeah, Kimberly, you can do as many times as you want in the deal. Sure. I mean, you can do them in one order, too. It would just be... Um, the lesser price The lesser price transfer would be the one that you got the discount on in each instance. So, if you ordered, like... 3B and 3A, you'd get the, the percentage off on the A transfers. If you ordered two Bs, you'd get it off the B. That's how it would work. But yeah, you can do as many as you want. I mean, it saves a couple of dollars, you know, here and there. And that's why I do it, so I can help you guys get stuff a little less expensive. The white penguin on, um, yeah, I guess it would melt into it, huh? I guess the white, I guess the white would, I don't know about colored candles. I hadn't, I didn't want to try them because I didn't know if it would show up like a white haze around the uh, image or what. Yeah. All right, ladies, I think that is all I have for you tonight. I think I, I am getting better, so I'm probably going to be able to go live more because I am starting to feel a little bit better. And, uh, yeah, just um, just message me what you want, Kimberly, and we'll I'll send you the payment thing. Um, I will uh, be going live probably more this week. Though the Astros are playing, so I might be going live earlier, but you can always catch the replay and check out all the crafts and talking. And uh, we're going to be busy. 
Good night from Thailand. Lisa, you are traveling? That's so nice. Um, we are going to be busy in um, our little wood shop out there in the garage this week making some stuff. So I'm excited about that. Super excited about that. So thank you all for joining me. If you're uh, watching this video, and I should have said this earlier, and there's not a live red live button, that means I'm not live because I get a lot of people will jump on and think the video's live, and they'll start commenting and ask, ask wondering why I'm not answering them. And it's because I don't know <laughs> that, you're, that you're on until I get a notification, and I might be, like, asleep, <laughs> or it might be the next day. So uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love you all. I appreciate you all. I'm going to go get some glue dots tomorrow, so on my next live, I will finish that farmhouse. It might be tomorrow night. You have a great night, too, sweet lady. Um, it might be tomorrow night, and um, I'm organizing tomorrow because, y'all, no lie, this whole room over here, from, from where I'm sitting to the wall, this whole room has bags and bags of craft and chalk and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to spend a good part of tomorrow organizing that, finish the pumpkin topiary so I can do a quick demo on that, a um, quick tip video on that. And then I'm going to organize all this. So I actually know where my stuff is and I know what I want to create for you because I have tons of craft ideas over there. And I just keep buying them and sticking them over there in bags and I can't find anything because I'm not in my room where I have all my storage. So I'm in like a spare bedroom that doesn't have any cabinetry or anything. So it's kind of unnerving. I cannot find the wire thing in the back of you, how? Um, Anna, I will, I'm going to, I'll go in and I'll try to find the video and I'll relabel it and I'll put, um, welcome fall pump wire pumpkins. That's what I'll call it. So when you go back through the videos, you'll be able to see, uh, welcome fall wire pumpkins. That'll be the video. And I, I promise I'm going to start trying to do better on that and labeling the Instead of just saying let's craft, I'm going to try to start labeling what I'm actually doing in each video so it's easily accessible to you. I never thought about it before because I didn't think anybody would really care to go back and watch the videos. But I'm getting a lot of messages about it, so I'm going to have to start doing that. Yeah, I know. The Astros play Tuesday night, so um, tomorrow night I will go live. And uh, Tuesday might be earlier. I might go earlier because I just don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss the World Series. So this week I might be doing early. I might even be doing morning shows. So you can catch the replay if you're working and you can come home later and catch it. Just hashtag replay when you do. Yes, Marsha, you need to retire. <laughs> you, those crafts should come first. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to do that. I'll go back. So if there's something in particular you're looking for... Or when I'm sitting there and having my coffee, I'll go through the videos and I'll see what I did on them and I'll go back and I'll change the uh, title at the top. So that, that shouldn't take too long. And I, I could start doing that for you. And then I'm, I'll try to get better at it. When I'm uh, posting the video, when I'm going live, my description, I will try to be much better at it. Sometimes I have an idea what I'm going to do. I have two or three things, so I don't know what I'm going to get to. But I could always go back and take it off and change it. So I'll, I'll start doing that. Sorry about that, ladies. Does anybody have any questions? Is there anything else anybody needs help with or you're looking to find a video on? Just let me know and I'll, I'll scout those out first. But, uh, Anna, I will do that right after the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, ladies. I'm going to get off here. I enjoyed our time together. So, um, remember the Carol Burnett song? I'm so glad we had this time together just to... Share a laugh and sing a song. Seems we just get started. And before you know it, comes the time you have to say so long. And she'd pull her ear. I started doing that, pulling my ear when my husband was on uh, Wild, Wild World, Wild World, Wild, Wild, Wide World of Sports when he was bowling on the professional tour. And I started doing that at the end of you know, when he'd win. I'd go up on the lanes with him and I'd just pull my ear and, like for my family. And they'd get so excited because they knew that that was for them. So, um, when my kids were little, I used to sing that all the time to them and they'd be like, don't sing that. <laughs> I was like, why? It's true. So that's how I feel every time I'm with you and I, in my head, I'm singing that song when I'm getting off because I just think I have so much fun with y'all and I appreciate all of you. All right, ladies. Good night. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great sleep. 
and I will see you sometime tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. Love y'all.